Hold on, I think we have to relook at that again. From time to time, I love to ask people how they first discovered Spellbreak and at what moment were they just blown away by the game or saw crazy potential in it. So I want to hear from you all down in the comments how you first discovered the game and at what point were you just blown away by it or just saw crazy potential for it. For me personally, I think I was first introduced to Spellbreak through Dr. Disrespect. He was reacting to some alpha or pre-alpha footage and was comparing the game to Tribes of Sen and he seemed quite impressed with it as well. So a few months later, I decided to try out the game and I liked it a lot, but it wasn't until I saw Comp Spellbreak in action that I was like blown away and started to fall in love with this game. More specifically, Element, which was Spellbreak's go-to place for tournaments. And to be even more nitpicky, it was two plays. The first one being Sincade having a clutch e exile under the bridge and Ash and Frost juggling people in and outside of the storm. With Tempest too, before Tempest was meta and cool by the way. I love those plays so much that I ended up fanboying over them in the comment section of Zen 860s YouTube before Element even had a <laughs> YouTube page. <laughs> and I want to share these clips with you guys today. But be sure to still leave a comment down below how you first discovered Spellbreak and at what point did you fall in love with the game or you just saw incredible potential for the game. It could be anything from watching your first trailer or winning your first engagement or game. Alright guys, don't don't pay attention to whose username that is. We're going to get to Sincade eventually into the, the play that blew my mind and whatnot. We'll get to it, I promise you. And I wanted to show you guys moments leading up to the bridge to the bridge incident so as you can see this is alpha dog i'll let you guys take a guess as to how we go from alpha dog to syncade right now the route and we keep going but this might be the end of the road for alpha dog he does not yeah, have speak. thirsty that recklessness is remember when you used to be able to tank the storm <laughs> can't do that anymore which i think is, is it's it's debatable it's right fair you can't be having people like ignore the dangers of a storm right you know now, some people have said it's not the strongest thing to run right now but syncate is saying forget about it he jumps through Look at that shadow open, step and just ooh, back, destroys borsa Sinkey could have himself a round. Right here. Back to back, but his opponent breaks Oof. it. Unfortunately, oh no. Sinkey is getting WP'd by a Pyro player. Turns his way around, but a nice firewall will change the tide. Sinkey playing so excellently. So I just want to pause it right here. As you can see, we're we're getting close to the bridge. I promise you, we'll get to the bridge eventually. We're almost there, guys. We're almost there. As you can see right here, his HP is really low. It looks like he has 40 red health. I don't know how much blue health. This is recorded in 480p. RIP, right? It's rip, rip to video quality, but it was in the beginning days of Element, so we let it, we let it slide. It's still fascinating, and this is one of the reasons why I just love BR, not only as a player but as a viewer of Comp BR. You just don't see moments like this where people are able to reset in Dominion. It's just bang, 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 bang. You want to reset, you might as well just recall, and. Sometimes it does happen in Dominion, and but when it does, it just doesn't stick with you for that long because it's like, boom, the next play, right? Because Dominion is just nonstop action. Sometimes it's cheesy action, but this this is not what this video is about. Let's keep rolling. Right now, as he drinks a big pot, trying to squeeze himself between this wall and the storm, turns around, there's another player. Sinkade just dodges all damage incoming. Oh my god, this is exciting to see, ladies oh and gentlemen. God, burns it, but the out. tornado comes down. So he's there. basically it out of all resources right now. Keep burning here. Armor not broken. resources but not available for he, he's, he's in a spicy he situation no to burn Sinkei takes the turn as well this is just crazy he's going fight to fight it is. oh no you that Sinkei, the true the mark of a true good player is not only being able to dodge your opponent but also look at all that aoe he That's just shakes it off like it's here. nothing and here we go Sinkei right here. under a bridge to this trying yeah, to reset right there you see him take advantage of this little corner spot I've seen this being then he gets spotted he gets away uses it to dodge the wind that was a cool like shadow step it looked cool to me when I first saw it it looked very cool to me when I first saw that and then look look at look at how small y'all saw how crazy that is Hold on, I think we have to relook at that again. The situation that he found himself in right here, guys. Our boy was almost at around, I think that's 70 HP. There's this caliber. Yeah, it was a smart play right there. You see him take advantage of this little And then it drops spot. like it's hot. Like <laughs> but not in a good way. He uses it to dodge the wind spam. Nice turn by Sincade. Realizes that he doesn't have his cloud off of cooldown. This might be the end of the road for my man drop his HP is looking quite slim, you know, very slim and not in Our a good way. Here, takes oh two no. But then look how small that toxic cloud is. He's like, 
He's like, as long as I see a cloud, no matter how small it is, if you're giving me a chance, I'm going to use it. And yet, no, he wasn't able to get an outbreak on it, but he was able to reposition and confuse the enemy. And when I saw this, my mind was just blown. I was so excited when I saw this. So to the face, uses it off a nice tiny bird. Cloud. Oh my and then he shadow steps with the outbreak <laughs> at 662. And just hearing the oh commentators go they crazy in the background was awesome. It was just icing on the cake. Play for you guys to enjoy. That will be the end of his game, but I don't think it matters here. Oh my yeah, God, it, it didn't matter. Like, like SDK nine, got him, but it, it just did not matter. I guess we could watch the end of this. Like two people SDK left. We could watch the rest of this. This ramen versus Lars mod. I never, I know, I know about um, top ramen. A lot of people in the community says he was like nasty with his fireballs. Didn't hear much about Lars Mod. Maybe he changed his name or place. stopped playing. Those Who knows? And, that damage is gonna add up. He got oh my so god! Many yeah. That game. And then he oh take god, yeah. But SDK is getting sniped right here. Well played by Lars Mod to just put so Lars much pressure and take the win off. Of Lars Mod for the dub. Lars Mod comes in. But yeah, the it, it was well, seeing seeing win. those just exchange cool, of events. What a just, game. It just made my eyes open. I I felt like a little kid again when I saw like Sinke do what he did under the bridge. I was just blown away and I wanted to do more. I wanted to emulate what he just did. I wanted to be crazy with toxicologists. I wanted to be crazy with shadow step, right? Just because of the way he was able to move like that, it was just amazing the way, the way it went down. And like I said, it's one of the reasons why not only as a player, but as a viewer, I love BR because of random things like that, that can happen forcing a player on their back when you think it's over for them and it's not because there's stakes, right? You only get one life and you just don't get that like level of urgency in Dominion games, unfortunately. Maybe in the respawnable game mode, you'll have like that state of urgency per round, which I'll, me and a lot of people in the community think will be awesome. And it's also another reason why I wanted to create Gilded because I felt like no one was was trying to like make a mode like that. Like, I'm just trying to like find something to like re-spark that, but I'm not too sure if we could ever find something that great. Maybe the devs will bless us with a game mode that 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 gives us the same feeling as what what we just saw. <laughs> Maybe, who knows. But yeah, on to the next clip. All right, so this is the second clip or the second play with Ash and Frost. Again, the man is crazy. This is another play that made me see like, wow, Spellbreak has a lot of potential just because of the resetability, the what what players do in the in the state of like where where it looks like all the odds are against them, where it looks like they have no chance of winning, but somehow they still prevail. I just love that kind of thing. Being a big weeb who watches anime and whatnot, but let's just get right into it. 15 damage with corrosion tick throws down the sorcery but it doesn't land misses again so he just loses a whole mess of hp out of nowhere no Any armor for him flesh, nothing left to guard him ashen frost takes that note to just back up there is more players in front of him throws down the tornado and the toxic but and then he gets sniped from a third party face ashen frost oh, no. isn't look at how low his hp is right but you know what i like to say i always like to say the third party giveth and it taketh it away <laughs> But nothing super great because of that third party, he was Ashen able to reset to because of the third party. But now it's still, it's it's still this coming on him. You see, the third party is distracting the other person, giving him an opportunity to heal. He was jumping on him. He looked like he was in a bad spot when he was curled up around the side of that little castle wall. But nothing really connected too large for him. Ashen Frost now has the opportunity to do the third partying. Jumps his way in, throws a couple wins down, but it doesn't do much. Yeah. Ice on his side too. There is four people around this fight right now. OSK, this is getting crazy. Now they're in the storm, right? Storm oh, sure they're they're right taking right the storm, but like eventually he's gonna start hitting a lot harder. Everyone's trying to rotate out of this for out of the zone. Sure. You see the power of Thirsty right there. All he did was but he's like he's seeing he's seeing seconds, this as an opportunity to like finish a fight. Nice couple little wind slaps here, getting his damage down onto the Patrick, but hits him hard with the toxic with a nice dash move but two to work nice. his way around beautifully played See, he by takes it he, that that was kind of epic in my opinion that dash room twice to get and then like i've been playing spellbreak for a little bit and i already know how annoying stone is so i was like on my i was on the edge of my seat i was like can he make it is he gonna survive <laughs> kind of thing because all it takes is just a little bit of like shockwave cheesiness back in the day where shockwave hitbox was just dummy thick and then look how much hp let's let's compare hps real quick Ashton looks like he has about like what 26, 36 HP, and then when Heldy comes up. out here, we can NATO see how so much HP Heldy has as a stone shaper. By the way, look at that—he basically has a full red bar. 
his armor just broke, but as a stone shaper, like back then, stone shapers used to, used to be able to get like five plus armor, like it was nothing. So they were able to like re like get sixty armor in a matter of seconds. So it was like it looked quite. It look it look. This looks like the end for Ashen. Is basically what I'm saying. Potion as well. This is nicely played by Ashen Frost. He's just making the most of what he can here. Dash shooting up top. Very, very. You see him running Tempest. And look, he, really he was able to, like, right there. tie it up because of one thick slap. My gosh. And then next takes it. And then next takes it. I actually use that in one of my new montages. Here, but I need that kill. Bit. Excuse me. Takes that one, picks but just, it just seeing Frost Ashen Frost, like, because at the very beginning of this video, let me show you guys. At the very beginning, he's going against, he's 1v1ing somebody, right? And then he loses all his armor. While he was trying to 1v1 this person. Throws down the sorcery, like it's land. nothing. Again. I think it's Heldy that he was trouble. fighting. Worked his way up, and now he's no armor. While Heldy is still very thick. <laughs> he, well, while Heldy's HP is still very thick, I should say. And then like a third party came in, which gave him the opportunity to reset and whatnot. Ah. Which was honestly crazy. We went from this to all the way to him being on top. And then getting sniped by next, obviously. And... Oh. As you will see in this play and the last play, I just love that kind of thing. Being able to reset, not knowing what the heck is going on, not knowing what to expect, you know. And I just, it just, it just felt me with so much excitement. Not, yes, and as a player too, I should say, because it was like, yo, this is what's possible in Spellbreak. Yo, I can do something like this. And it just, it got me excited and whatnot. And I would love to hear, like, what got you guys excited as well. Be sure to put it in the comment section. Stay safe. Until next time, I'll see you guys later.